द फॉर्म्स ऑफ ए टिपिकल यूट्राइन ब्लीडिंग The first one, it is menorrhagia. Now, what is menorrhagia? Now, these are the disorders, menstrual disorders that we are discussing over here. Now, menorrhagia, it is defined as the excessive blood loss, okay, at regular time or regular cycle, right? So, remember, yes, it is the excessive blood loss at regular time. Yes, at regular time, okay, that is the regular cycle, regular cycle. Now, menorrhagia, okay, menorrhagia, it is the excessive blood loss at a regular time or, yeah, the regular cycles. Now, if the blood loss blood loss if it is more than equal to 85 ml or if number of days of bleeding number of days of bleeding it is more than 7 days okay then it is called as menorrhagia then it is called as the menorrhagia now this menorrhagia it is typically seen in fibroids Okay, the female patients who are having fibroids, right? So, yes. The second one, it is called as the decreased blood loss, right? The second one, decreased bleeding, decreased bleeding or it is also called as the less blood loss, okay? The less blood loss which is called as hypomenorrhea, hypomenorrhea, okay. Over here, remember, it is, yeah, if there is, uh, okay, let us, let us write like this, if the number of days, number of days of bleeding, it is less than 2, right, or, or I can say if the volume of bleeding, if the volume of bleeding, it is less than 5 ml, then it is said to be hypomenorrhea. Over here in hypomenorrhea, remember the cycles will be regular. The cycles will be regular and this hypomenorrhea, it is seen in Asherman syndrome. Okay, it is seen in Asherman syndrome, right? Now, if the cycles are long, the third one, remember, if the cycles are long or there is infrequent menstruation, infrequent menstruation then it is called as oligomenorrhea oligomenorrhea right so if the cycles are long or there are infrequent menstruation then it is called as oligomenorrhea right now if the cycles are short Fourth one, if the cycles are short, okay, if the cycles are short or, or the female, female is having constant menstruation, 
right if it is having um, yes constant like frequent menstruation frequent menstruation then it is called as yes it is called as polymenorrhea it is called as polymenorrhea right so yes now if there is irregular bleeding irregular bleeding then it is called as metrorrhagia metrorrhagia right metrorrhagia now uh, see metrorrhagia it is seen in case of polyps you can remember it is seen in case of polyps right it is seen in case of polyps yes now if a female is complaining of uh, irregular bleeding at irregular intervals now irregular intervals it is like uh, metrorrhagia right excessive bleeding it is menorrhagia meno metrorrhagia will be seen in case of fibroids or fibroidal polyps right so that is something that you have to remember okay so this was about the disorders that was associated with the menstrual cycle the forms of atypical uterine bleeding Thank you.